it when you are sorting by name, um, it gives you the alphabet and some numbers. Uh, the if you notice the eight there um, is in white, but the A is in grey, saying that um, there aren't any that start with A, but there are ones starting with eight, six, three, and it'll show basically it'll show the relevant ones. So um, that's a good way of quickly getting through your images, and it will scroll to the appropriate part. Um, scrolling is incredibly smooth and nice. Um, so if I change this to sort by date and scroll down, it'll show me a little calendar. Oop, I wasn't going to show you that yet. Darn it! Um, shows you the date on here, and the little square in the middle will show you, and it goes through the different months, showing you when these particular photos were taken. I'm not sure if it was taken or put on the device or what, where it gets that information from, but well, still useful. Um, sort by size, um, well that doesn't put anything there, or type. Um, this puts the alphabet again, but the two types of images I've got here is JPG and PNG. So it's got J there for the JPEGs and P for the PNG. So that again, well you never know if you use a whole variety of file types, could be useful. I'm going to just sort by date again. There you go. Um, Okay, something that you might have noticed me doing just then is when I rotated it, the entire app rotates with your phone. Um, that's based upon the G sensor in your device. Um, it even goes upside down, and it's rather quick and and it works really well. Um, the same works for when you actually open up a picture. Um, let's find scrolling between pictures. You just simply scroll across, um, and it'll rotate. There's no pretty animation of it turning or anything, it just turns it. Um, to bring up the controls, you just tap on the screen. Same to get rid of them. Um, if I get rid of them again, uh, as I said, doing that goes between them. But if you go up the side, it rotates it. So if it's a different rotation to what you wanted, um, you can in fact change it. It does not save that. That is just simply for um, viewing purposes. So, um, anyway, back to the controls. Um, for zooming, you cannot double tap to zoom in. You have to use this zoom bar along the side here, which is very sensitive. Um, and then you can scroll around the image, but you that can double tap to go back to fill the screen. Um, up here you have Keeps to, it does fade out after a while, which is handy. Uh, that's rotate left and right. Um, that goes back into the previous menu. Um, that one is to play a slideshow, which looks like that. That fades out after you press play. And it has different animations and settings that you can change. So there's audio, you can do it silent, play comments, play music browse music or back, um, speed, you can change how fast it goes, the direction, so which way through your images, slide effect, so there's, I like to have it on random because you never know what you might get then, uh, and there's also notes, so if there's notes um, it will show them, and yeah, so let's play this. Notice screen rotation works even when you're doing a slideshow. So that's going through my images. Um, tap again to stop it and then close. Um, that middle one is the send to, so you can upload it. That's got the button for uploading or Bluetooth, email, or MMS. That brings up the file menu as shown before where you can. Uh, do the same sort of things again, um, including view the properties, which shows you various things. Um, that's actually interesting. Camera, um, the camera details, which is orientation, resolution, software, which is quite interesting. The sort of stuff that you can find out about. Plus, you can switch between your different images, just showing the properties. So I'll close that. 
Um, then that one there changes those down the bottom. Uh, and this is the edit menu. So in menu, you, well, there's the little menu button there. Save picture as or upload to. Um, you have that, which brings up brightness, contrast controls. So that's uh, that. Ooh. Oh, doesn't that look pretty? Um, anyway, uh, and that's brightness, and that's contrast, I'm guessing, and that's gamma, I think. Um, that's red, green, and blue, so you can change the kind of tint to it. Uh, that one, oh, inverts it, and that one resets. So I'll go back. That one, this means you can draw on it. Uh, and you can change the colour through this. So, oh, that was boring. Hey, uh, you can select these different objects and move them around wherever you want. Um, you can select an object and delete it. You can select an object and change the colour of it, um, which is actually really quite good considering. Um, you can do squares, you can just draw. There's no line tool, I've noticed, uh, and you can add text. Um, so I go, hello, I'm going to go for blue, actually I'll go for purple, purple's a good colour, and you can change the font, uh, and click on OK, and then you can put that wherever you want, and, uh, oh, I'm just wondering if you can resize it, uh, oh, apparently it keeps going off. Um, but I'm going to clear all of those and go back and then you can also resize and crop. Crop is pretty easy you just simply uh, do that. If I just wanted that bit left you can also change the aspect ratio um, so there is a large number of options for editing then it says do you want to save your changes? I'm not going to because I quite like that picture as it is 